All right, everyone, we're back with a brand new Cabral concept. Today, we're going to be taking you through an amazing at-home lab test. Anybody can run it. Ages three years old and up, our oldest client within the Equal Life practice is 105 years young. And uh, this is a lab that I want to go over. I want to share with you how to find out just basically the simplest way to find out your heavy metals, but also some of your minerals as well, what the new, ta what the new lab test looks like and um, how this is revolutionizing the functional medicine-based industry. So first and foremost, it's called the Minerals and Metals Test. Uh, anybody can get a hold of it. I'll be sharing with you how. But the nice thing is that even though it's been around for more than 40 years, all it is is a sample hair tissue. That's it. So all you're doing is taking a couple of snips from your hair. If you have short hair on the sides like me, then you're just going to take a couple snips from higher up on the head. That's it. Anywhere from a half an inch uh, to a quarter inch to an inch and a half long. Every half inch shows you about the last 30 days of a sample. So an inch and a half shows you the last 90 days. Women or men with longer hair, you can just take a couple snips underneath the hair. You'll never see it missing. You don't need to go all the way to your scalp and know you don't pull it out. You just take a couple snips of hair. If you have long hair, you throw away the end of the strand and you just use the closest one and a half inches to the scalp. Why would we do this? Why would we run this? Plain and simple. It's going to show you your mineral levels. It's going to show you though your heavy metal, heavy metals, which we're going to get to in one moment. And those are your lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, and aluminum. You do not want heavy metals in your body. People have been asking about this lab test for a few weeks now since we shared the research, which believe it or not, it's almost 20 years now, almost 20 years old. People didn't know this, but there is a direct tie, a direct tie to two main things. We've known about it for a long time, a direct tie to autism and learning-based issues in children when there are higher levels of mercury and aluminum. We've known this. It's been around since at least 2005. That's when I, um, I didn't see the data back in 2005, um, but certainly that's when the research was done. Uh, very good research too, out of University of Texas, their med center, their um, scientific study research. Then the other research that we've known again for about 20 years is the link between heavy metals and Alzheimer's and dementia. And it's actually pretty straightforward. Metals create oxidative stress. All right, so oxidative stress leads to free radical damage. It can lead to an increase in stress hormones in the body, all of which have been implicated in uh, autism or autism spectrum-based disorders or Alzheimer's dementia. So while I'm not saying that heavy metals are the only thing that can cause ASD or Alzheimer's, what I am saying is there are direct causal links and we just wanna know if we have the metals in our body because these things don't happen overnight and plain and simple, we can remove them within about eight weeks time. So again, I like to take the fear out of things. It's better to know than not know because not knowing and not doing anything about it still leads to disastrous results. That's the truth, right? So I didn't, meaning like I was sick all my whole childhood, allergies, all sorts of issues. Then at 17, I had uh, Addison's disease, type two diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, POTS, uh, mastocytosis, so mast cell activation syndrome, a lot of health issues, like debilitating health issues. And I didn't know any of these things nor how to get well. But my, my not knowing how to get well still caused me to be sick from 17 years old to 27 years old. Like it didn't get better because I wasn't willing to look at it. I was trying. I tried my best. I didn't have these types of labs. So I started to meet with practitioners and believe it or not, this is exactly how they helped me. So pretty, pretty remarkable. That's why I do what I do. I try to now share that with others. But let's dive into it. Really quick overview, because I have a previous podcast uh, and actually going through this lab, but it is a brand new look. And why did we do this over at Equal Life? To make it easier for you to read. That's the truth. Like now you can just, you can take back control of your own health. So bottom line, whether you're watching this on YouTube or at my website, stephencabral.com slash 2960, um, you can read this right at home. And what we do is we give you a summary of your results. So what you're going to do is you're going to see a, a red zone for high and low. That means you're out of range. A yellow or orange zone, that means you're a little too low or a little too high out of the optimal. And then we show you the optimal range in green. The circle represents your number, okay? And so now when you're looking at this lab test, already now, without being an expert, you know how to read your results. So this individual, high calcium, 
high magnesium, but not as high as calcium. Low sodium, low potassium. So I'm not gonna go through exactly, again, all of our IHPs can, can help you with these and, and much more, and I'm gonna share with you how you can actually get a free at-home lab test, just like this one in just a moment. But bottom line is this, is that this individual shows a specific stress pattern that could lead to osteoporosis, that could lead to hardening of the arteries, that could lead to anxiety, and much more. And the reason is, is that when an individual is more and more stressed, they are leaching, they are pulling more calcium out of their bones. And it's a sure sign that this person may be more sympathetic nervous system dominant or fight or flight based dominant. We don't want that in the long run. We want to help this person to be able to calm that sympathetic nervous system and improve the parasympathetic nervous system. And when the sodium and potassium are low, it can show that this has been going on for quite a while, that it's somewhat chronic. And so we need to rebuild the resilience and strength of the body, sometimes the mitochondria, sometimes the adrenal output, and much more. All right, so as we start to move through the lab and we're looking at iron, I wanted to make a notation in this. Iron is not something that you look at on a minerals and metals test unless it's high. It should be low, okay? So if it's ever high, it means that you will want to speak with your PCP or run your own iron levels on blood work. So blood work is gonna show you great results for your TIBC, transferritin, iron saturation rates, that's what you would run on blood work. A mineral and metals test like this one shows you what's being excreted into the protein in the hair. Why does that matter? It's what NASA uses, it's what the FBI uses, it's the specific studies on women and pregnancy, uh, as well as children with autism and much more. That's why they use a hair test, because it shows you what's being excreted by the body, right? Plain and simple, it was in your body and it's being excreted into the hair. Okay, copper on this person's a little bit low, but when you look, zinc is optimal. So you might think, oh, perfect, zinc is optimal. True, but zinc and copper work together, just like magnesium and copper work together, uh, magnesium and calcium work together, and sodium and potassium work together. So for the electrolytes, what we have people do is we actually balance that a little bit more with lifestyle. We might use something like Adrenal Soothe, full spectrum magnesium. We'll look at their sleep. We'll help them get better sleep. We'll make sure that it's not all oh, go, go, go in their life. So we, we talk with you and we share that in your results. For zinc, we would actually use a product called Balance Zinc. We would get a little bit more copper into the body. Not high, that's why we test this, but optimal. Uh, the manganese is a little low. We see that very often when someone has low sodium potassium, it can show lowered energy reserves in the body. Chromium and selenium are often low optimal, you know, right out of that optimal range. And the reason is, is that the soil no longer has the chromium that it once did. So chromium can affect your blood sugar levels, selenium can affect your thyroid, selenium can affect your detox, uh, and so much more. It's a very powerful antioxidant. And then phosphorus, we want that right inside the green that shows no bone loss, you're, you're getting enough protein in your diet. This person might need a little bit more protein in their diet, and we share all of those results with them. Again, in the summary below, even if you're not watching this in video, every result shows you what your summary means. If I just go to the low phosphorus, which I just talked about for protein, it says it could potentially do to poor digestion. Okay, so now as we're moving down to the summary, we can look at what will be your exact results about your lab. So even though I'm demonstrating a simple lab here today, you could look down to your zinc and show that it's op optimal, but then of course you can see that your copper, it shows that it's low. It can lead to what? Fatigue, hair loss, lower hormone production, lower thyroid and grain of the hair. Then you can look at the potentially little bit lower phosphorus, could be from poor digestion, lower protein intake, lower vitamin D, it can be associated with fatigue, weakness, apathy, which is kind of like low emotional state, et cetera. So really helpful uh, that you get all of your results spelled out for you. Then it goes over the mineral ratios, which you don't have to get too deep into. Your integrative health practitioner or your health coach can explain those to you if you'd like to know, but it's basically just the interpretation from above. And then we look down below, which is what I wanted to share with you here today. This lab test alone is absolutely amazing. Again, you can run this with any integrative health practitioner level two. You can run it with a local naturopathic doctor or you can run it with Equalife, whatever works for you. But I want you to know that it's very simple to find out your or your children's metal levels just through a simple hair-based sample. And again, they use this for NASA with the government, FBI testing. They use it with um, all of PubMed research on pregnancy and heavy metals. And so important that we look at this, that, that we know this. And so for this, for all individuals, we're looking at lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, and aluminum. 
Most of the time, we don't see any elevated at all, which is great, except for aluminum. And that is because aluminum, and I have lots of podcasts on that that I'm happy to link up at episode 2960, but aluminum is in everything from um, baked goods, it's in our water, tap water, ice cubes, it's in antiperspirants, aluminum foil, aluminum pans, aluminum spatulas that we use. So it's it's in a lot of things in the environment. Now, we teach you on those podcasts eventually how to just do a one-for-one -one trade for healthier things. Uh, you can find all of those at stephencabal.com slash resources, meaning like using parchment paper instead of the aluminum foil, eventually switching over your pans or at least the pan that you use the most often, using a water filter. So all of my favorite companies are at stephencabal.com slash resources. But if you show up with high mercury or any of these or high aluminum, there are things that you can do. So using something right away like the functional medicine detox and then going into the heavy metal detox, which is specific for heavy metals, is going to be absolutely helpful. And then doing things like infrared sauna, getting sweating going in your body so you can excrete these metals to a greater degree uh, is incredibly helpful. Again, we have before and afters in our practice. We've run We've run this lab at least 100,000 times. We've run hundreds of thousands of labs in our practice. And I just want to share with you the benefit of what a simple minerals and metals test, meaning simple to take, but the information you get is profound. So we're a big fan of running this lab. We love combining it with your vitamin levels and gut levels as well. Um, that's a separate test. That's a urine test combined. They're called the starter kit. You can find that at stephencabral.com slash starter dash kit. Remember, I, again, I just want to be the one that provides you with the resources. You can choose to do with that what you like, but I can tell you that my daughters, my wife run the starter kit every single year. That's what they do. Um, that's part of the big five, but you can just run the starter kit. It's less expensive. Great to do. If you'd like to run just this lab, get your feet wet, see what functional medicine is all about, then you can try out this lab completely free. All you do is pay for shipping. That's it. It's for new lab clients only with Equalife because we can only do this first time to introduce you to functional medicine because we actually have to pay for this lab. Uh, the nice thing is when you purchase through Equalife, it does not get your results, do not get shared with anybody else. It's just the lab that runs the sample because they have all the equipment. Equalife, which is the intermediary because you need a doctor to sign off on your lab. And then you, the patient or the wellness client, you get the results. So it's it's pretty phenomenal. You can find it at stephencabral.com slash HTMA. stephencabral.com slash HTMA. Again, you'll find that right there. It is free. You just pay the shipping. So it's a $199 lab worth every penny, uh, but it's yours for just shipping and handling uh, for the first. Uh, we have 100 that we give away per month for first time lab clients. Again, it's my job. I want to introduce the world to at home lab testing. It changed my life. It helped me heal. I want to try to do, try to do the same for others as well. That's my goal. If I can get this out to as many people, I will. If we can afford to give out more free labs in the future, we're going to do that too. Find out all the details. See if you can get your free minerals and metals test at stephencabral.com slash HTMA. Take care, everybody. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any other questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. My team and I would be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.